Hello and welcome to the Peroxide Guide for Iron River on Mythic Difficulty. This is a two-phase encounter. In phase one, you will fight her on the ground, and in phase two, she flies up in the air, and you will have to deal with bombs. For this encounter, you want to bring two tanks, four to five healers, and the rise DPS. Let's begin with phase one. You want to tank Iron River in the middle of the room and you want to keep your ranged DPS and healer spread. You have 6 abilities you have to deal with in phase 1. The first one I'll go through is called Artillery. This is something tanks have to deal with through the whole phase 1. When the tank gets the artillery they perform the tank switch. When the debuff expires Iron River will shoot overheated artillery shell and it will inflict fire damage. This ability happens very often. You will also encounter this ability during phase 2, but it will target random players and deal way less damage. So if you get this artillery debuff, make sure you go away from your raid group. The further away you are from your group, the less damage they will take. The next ability she does is called Unstable Orb. She fires orb at random targets and it inflicts fire damage to everybody within 8 yards of the impact. You get the debuff called Unstable Orb, this effect stacks. Also, this is the main reason why you want to be spread. For the whole raid you need to dodge the ability called Barrage. You will see Iron River backpedaling and shortly after she will shoot the targeted player's location. Make sure you dodge this or you will die. This ability also leaves patches of fire on the floor. If you walk over this fire you will get the debuff called Immolation. It deals fire damage and it stacks, so make sure you don't walk over it. One thing I'm gonna add for Barrage is that the closer you are to the boss, the easier it, is, it will be for you to dodge this ability. Throughout Phase 1, Iron River will also perform the ability called Pounding. This deals massive raid-wide damage for 6 seconds, it takes every half a second, so make sure you use a healing cooldown during this time. Any player with a debuff from Unstable Orb or Emulation will need special attention for healing. The best way to counter this is to use personal cooldowns and healing tonics. Another ability she does is called Firebomb. She will launch firebombs at targeted locations. It inflicts damage to everybody within 5 yards of the impact location and creates volatile firebomb. These bombs detonate within 25 seconds, they inflict massive fire damage to the whole raid and they also increase the damage taken from the future bombs by 50% for 30 seconds. Any kind of bomb that detonates gives you the same debuff. This effect stacks so make sure you DPS these bombs down or you might wipe. The last ability she does during phase 1 is called Blitz. She faces random directions and charges towards the location she's facing. In case you are in her path, you will be picked up and suffer initial fire damage. You will also get a dot called Blitz. It deals fire damage and it stacks, so make sure you dodge it. One thing I'm going to add is, when you see fire patches on the floor, and when she performs certain abilities, these patches of fire will move, so make sure you're not standing too close to them. That's it for phase 1. For phase 2, Iron River flies up in the air and she reduces the damage she takes by 95%. During this phase you need to take care of the bombs, that's your main objective. She will start by doing the ability called Fuel Streak. If you get hit by this ability you will get your movement speed reduced by 40% for 3 seconds. Shortly after Fuel Streak she will perform flash fire and she will ignite the fuel streak on the floor. It will deal damage to anybody within 3 yards of the impact location. The main ability during this second phase is firebomb. It's the same one as in phase 1 but this time she will launch different types of bombs. Let's go through the bombs. The first bombs that were already mentioned are volatile firebombs. The second bombs are called Quick Fuse Fire Bombs. These bombs detonate within 12 seconds, so make sure you DPS them down as soon as you see them. The third bombs are called Burning Fire Bombs. When you attack these fire bombs, it inflicts you with the Flame Vulnerability 
increases your fire damage you take by 15% for 6 seconds. This effect stacks so they need to be DPS down. The fourth bombs are called reactive fire bombs. These are the bombs that tanks have to deal with. They detonate within 30 seconds. You simply right click on the bomb and you destroy it. However, it will deal big amount of physical damage. So make sure you use a personal cooldown before you jump on it. The last bombs are called reinforced fire bombs. They detonate within a minute and a half. They need to be DPS down. Deal with the bombs without dying and you will win the fight. Second phase ends when she performs the ability called Falling Slam. It deals nature damage to the whole raid. Anyone that will be standing within the circle when she's about to land will die. After she lands she gains a buff called Energized Fist and what it does is it increases the damage of pounding by 25%. When she gets this buff you're back in phase 1. This was my guide for Iron River on Mythic difficulty. I hope you liked the video, if you did let me know down in the comment section below. If you got any questions feel free to ask. If you wanna check any of the other guides just click the annotations. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.